Hi, Super Spruce here, back with a whole new series of this game called Distance Incremental. And this is the winner of the Incremental Tournament Poll. It like blew all the other games out of the water in every single round with like over 80% victory. But yeah, this game is sort of like the hot new incremental game of like the time I'm recording this, which is September 2020. It's made by this person called J Corb. And yeah, I've heard I've heard that it's sort of like Antimatter Dimensions, but without the time walls of Antimatter Dimensions. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I've gone a total of 40 meters, one meter per second. Your current velocity is one meter per second. Maximum velocity is one meter per second. Your current acceleration is 0 0.1 meters per second squared. So I think if you maybe saw at the very beginning, like the first few seconds of the video, I was not going at one meter per second. So I can reset my journey already. There's already a prestige. That's literally the first thing there is in this game. But increase the maximum velocity by one meter per second. Okay, I, I'll, I'll do this. So it requires 10 meters. I just got an achievement. Better shoes. Do a rank reset. Acceleration is 10% higher. So you can see current velocity is now... It's, incre it's increasing. So right now it's quadratic until I hit two meters per second. And then I'm able to reset my journey, but increase acceleration and maximum velocity by 10% for each rank up. Okay, so this is, this is different. So I'll do it like this and I can already do the next thing, which is reset your ranks, but, but make the rank requirement formula 25% slower oh it's 160 meters yikes but this will help that so um, this is already a tier 2 prestige and this is extreme workout to a tier reset so yeah there's a lot of achievements here there's 120 currently and this game is still under active development there's also a bunch of mods of this game so yeah that's exciting i guess i'll just i'll do this to um, make the maximum velocity 2 meters per second. Also, there is an achievement here, which is go at least 100 meters. But other than that, I don't really know what any of the other achievements are. So, this is off to space, do a rocket reset. That's my, That must be the next mechanic. And actually, yeah, it says um, reach 50, I think, I think it's megameters or 50 million meters to unlock rockets. So, I guess I'd keep just ranking up like this. And um, is reset your journey, but double the acceleration. So it seems like it's different for each rank. This requirement is only 38 meters, so yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. And then this is reset your ranks, but double your acceleration and quintuple your maximum velocity if, you're, if you are at least rank three. This is, it's these are oddly specific, but whatever. That's what I'll do. So yeah, double the acceleration. This can allow me to reset my ranks here. It looks like this part is going to be roughly the same, or exactly the same. What am I saying? Roughly the same. And, yeah, this is... The next one here is reset your ranks, but rank the rank requirement formula 10% slower for each rank up. So, yeah, it's sort of like the same thing here. This requires rank 7. So, yeah, that's a little bit of a jump from rank 4, but whatever. And, yeah, I just need 13 meters for this. It's not even taking that long because, you know, this game is known for having no time walls. So this will allow me to reset my journey, but double my acceleration. So this should definitely help, especially with a maximum velocity of 13 meters per second. It's like, I'm going to try to convert it to miles per hour. That's like 27 or 28 miles per hour. So yeah, this is going to, this is going to be pretty powerful. I need, unfortunately, I need 286 meters but if I get there, I can reset my journey and triple my acceleration and maximum velocity for each tier up. So that could multiply it by nine. So that's pretty good. And yeah, there is the quick sprint achievement. Anyway, I can now do the next thing here. This should be, yeah, it's pretty overpowered. That's like a 10 times multiplier to um, production or not production, you know, like acceleration and maximum velocity. So now I need five kilometers to reset my journey, increase the acceleration and maximum velocity 97.5 for each rank up. So 
that's gonna that's gonna be pretty powerful. Let's actually that's gonna be even more powerful. That's like sixty times, like, of the velocity and um, the acceleration. So it looks like I just have to wait wait here. Also, you can see these new stickers. People say this is unbalanced, but it's really it's just that that all the other games are too balanced. I mean, people really seem to like the balancing of this game. So it's obviously doing something right. So anyway, anyway, five kilometers. Um, next rank up. This is <laughs> reset your journey, but rank up. But this this will allow me to get to tier two. So yeah, now the maximum velocity is nine kilometers per second. So all of a sudden we're at orbital speed, like speed of things orbiting the Earth from one meter per second, like five minutes ago. So yeah, this is inflating quickly. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's going to make the rank requirement formula 10% slower for each tier up. So that's going to be pretty powerful. That's like 30% slower like cost scaling. So here we go. Um, achievement gotten. Three is the lucky number. I'm not sure what that is. It's reached tier three. Acceleration is 20% higher. That will, that will actually definitely help things. And yeah, this is reset your ranks but triple your acceleration. It requires rank 12. So yeah, that's gonna take a while to reach, but this is only 10.2 meters or 10.3 meters. So maybe I'm gonna unlock rockets here because yeah, 50 megameters shouldn't be too, too bad if like this cost scaling isn't all that bad. Like this is just 39. I'm not exactly sure what it means by like 10% slower scaling because this does not seem like 10% slower. Maybe it's like some sort of double exponential increase. So yeah, this is where this is where things start to become overpowered. Like I, yeah, this, that took like three seconds. This is even faster. These don't do anything other than just ranking up. And I got another achievement, oil change, rank eight. Acceleration is 5% higher. And now reset your journey, but increase your max on the velocity by 10% for each rank up. And I just got a new achievement. Driving for hours, we go at least 500 kilometers. Maximum velocity is 10% higher. I like that most of these achievements have rewards. It's, it's yeah, I can see how people say there's no time walls here. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna do this. This will increase my maximum velocity by about five times. I'm not sure if it's worth it to try to rank up here or to just go to unlock rockets i mean ranking up does do a bunch of stuff so it's still worth it to rank up at all so yeah i'll, I'll do it it's still it would take maybe a minute to reach rockets so i'm i'm gonna do it Let, let's see I'm, I'm almost there and this let's see how much this will increase the maximum velocity it over doubles it i didn't realize it was that powerful i, I thought it was gonna Increase it by like 25%, but that's like 125%. And all of a sudden, I am going to unlock rockets in just like 30 seconds. Yet nothing takes over a minute in this game. Maybe maybe that's that's like the rule. Nothing takes over a minute. Or maybe later on, things will take a little longer. But yeah. The next one here is reset your journey, but double your acceleration. So it looks like I... I do have to wait a little bit here. It's not really all that bad, but it's, yeah, I, I mean, it's okay. If this game, yeah, this, this game is just going to have barely any weights. Like, I mean, I, I feel like this is, I feel like this weight is like barely weight. So here we go. Rockets. It's a new tab. Reset all previous progress. Of course, everything's a prestige here. And um, you have zero rockets as you're making your acceleration and maximum velocity boost themselves. Log X plus one to the zero power. So I think if I get one rocket, this will make it boost. It's like the logarithm, 0 0.6 power. So that, that doesn't seem all that powerful. It could, it could be pretty good. I now have to reach a terameter to unlock automation. That Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Or maybe maybe it won't because this is just this is distance incremental. I also have zero rocket fuel, which boosts the effect of rockets by zero percent, and adds zero additional rockets to their effect. So I got a new achievement here. Do a rocket reset. 
acceleration and maximum velocity are 50% higher. So yeah, I'm not even looking at these achievements just because this game is, you know, so fast. I mean, honestly, like a little bit of slowness is actually good sometimes. But anyway, yeah, the maximum velocity is already six meters per second at this point. So all I need is 20 meters. This will reset my ranks, but make the rank requirement formula 25% slower. This only requires rank four, so this should be pretty easy. And yeah, this is, this is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be pretty easy. Maybe I can look at achievements here while I'm waiting. Um, rocket blast, get at least one rocket fuel. Rocket gain is increased by 5%. Humans are relevant, unlock automation. This is unlock time reversal for a universal collapse reset. It seems like there's a lot of random stuff here. <laughs> they don't even seem to relate a lot much, but I guess people like this. So, yeah. 38 meters shouldn't be too bad, and this will allow me to um, tear up. So let's see what some of these achievements are. Reach two rockets. Get at least two rocket fuel. Unlock rank bot, whatever that is. <laughs> Reach a thousand time cubes. Okay, I have no idea what all these are, but... It's, yeah, it must be something. So, yeah, 12 meters this shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I can see what the 3 1 is like. Go at least 1 terameters and reach rank 12. Acceleration is 80% higher if I get that. So, that, that, seems, that seems pretty powerful. This is, go at least, is this 10 parasecs or parsecs or whatever? Yeah, that, that seems, I think that's what it is. Reach tier 4. Reach 10 rockets, so it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get like these achievement rows the same as Antimatter Dimensions. It's, it may just be sort of like more diagonal like this. I mean, maybe later on it'll be different, but where I am right now, it's like that. So here I think this is where the game starts to really pick up. 286 meters shouldn't even be that bad to reach. Here it is. And this, yeah, now it's 700 meters per second. And yeah, this is the really overpowered one. The increase your maximum velocity by 97.5 for each rank up. So, and it's, it's only five kilometers, which takes probably only 15 to 20 seconds. So yeah, here it is. And yeah, th this should be super easy to reach 222 kilometers. Re reaching one terameter is gonna be pretty crazy like that like that's i'm not exactly sure i'm gonna reach that but it'll probably be something so yeah this is where this is where things truly get overpowered once i start getting higher ranks here so there's also statistics best ever distance best ever velocity and best ever acceleration so i may, may i think they'll eventually be like best ever like rockets and all that so yeah i just need to get i think I just need to eventually just get enough distance to get more rockets. So, yeah, I think it's rank four where everything starts getting crazy. Or maybe it's rank five. Yeah, rank five because this is where, like, the, tr the triples it for each rank up, which is like a 27 times boost to acceleration and max velocity. And you can just see how quick this is. And I should probably just keep doing this. It's pretty powerful. And then I can probably easily reach rank 10. And, um, yeah, I feel like I'll just be able to get one more rocket, which will make my acceleration and maximum velocity boost themselves by logarithm x plus 1 to, like, a higher power to than whatever it is. So I don't really think it's worth going all the way to 360 million meters to double my acceleration. I mean, it also like double the max velocity, but maybe it's better just to get a rocket. I mean, I'm not really sure what the formula for getting rockets is. So maybe it's worth it. Let's see, can I get one rocket? Yes, I can. So um, let's see, maybe if I get more distance, I'll be able to get more rockets. And maybe getting multiple rockets is a better idea. I sort of don't like that there's no formula given, but whatever. Anyway, I, I will rank up here, and um, this is just a rank up, except also it'll, I'll be able to tier up. 
So yeah, that seems seems pretty good. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm not sure when I can get two rockets and if it's worth it to get two rockets. I don't think it's gonna be worth it to grind all the way to 30 billion meters so I can rank up or tier up again. So I can actually get two rockets here. So that that's helpful. Maybe I can get three. I may actually go for three. I'm not sure what the formula is, but I feel like I could be able to get three. So I'll just wait a little bit here. Actually, here it is, three. So I'll get that. That gets me this achievement. Maximum velocity is 25% higher. And then also, yeah, four rockets, which I feel like this will allow me to unlock automation very easily. So all I need... Unfortunately, there's a lot of resetting here, which... I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of just like spam prestige like this. I mean, I, I like the idea of m many layers of prestige, but I more like how a game like Anthem Era Dimensions, or even that's a little bit spammy. Like maybe, I, I'm not exactly sure what a good example is, but a game that sort of introduces the prestiges more gradually than throwing three prestige layers at you. And like, Everything here is a prestige. This is almost like the parody game called Prestige. There's actually, like, if you go into the Reddit slash incremental game server, there's a channel called Prestige, and it's literally just this game where everything is a prestige, and, like, they all multiply, like, your number by, like, the amount of times you prestige, but, like, the requirements to prestige goes up exponentially, and, yeah, that's... It's interesting. This feels like that, but it actually has balancing. So, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what I can do. At, at least there's this, which is the first button that won't be a flat-out prestige. Actually, it is a prestige. It's reset your rockets to get one rocket fuel. Why is everything in this game a prestige? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a fan of prestige, but just not prestige like this. Like, I think New Game Plus, even, like, New Game Plus Plus Plus, everyone doesn't um, like it because the balancing is so bad, but the way it does prestige layers, I actually really like if it would have better balancing. If it had better balancing, New Game Plus Plus Plus, honestly, in my opinion, is sort of the ideal way to do prestige layers. But anyway, I'm now getting a bunch of rank ups here. I should be able to easily reach rank 10. And then hopefully easily reach rank 11. And I feel like the next mechanic, I'll, I'll probably grind to it. And I'm thinking that will be next episode. It's because I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it's that useful to get like one or two or even three rockets. I sort of want to get to the next mechanic here. And I don't think this automation mechanic will be reset by whatever prestige layer there is. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.